Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Dell XPS 14 9440. To get inside this device, you need to undo eight Torx head screws. Use a lever tool to pop the bottom panel in the hinge zone areas close to the top two corners. The central part of the back vent is attached to the bottom plate, and you have to raise this section as well. Press the chassis with a finger on the left or the right and pop the midsection. Then, work your way around the sides and the front with a thin plastic tool. There is a bracket on top of the battery connector that is held in place with one Phillips head screw. Undo it, slide the metal cap to the left, and lift it away from the base. Don't forget to use gloves to avoid short circuits. The laptop has a 70 watt hour battery. To take it out, detach the connector from the motherboard and undo the six Phillips head screws that keep the unit in place. The capacity is enough for around 25 hours of web browsing or around 20 hours of video playback. That's an outstanding result. To achieve that, you have to apply the balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the optimized power plan in the MyDell app. In terms of storage, you get just one M.2 slot for 2230 or 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The NVMe drive is covered by a metal plate that is fixed to the chassis with a single Phillips head screw. Undo it and slide the shield to the left to remove it. We found a small thermal pad on the inside of the metal cap and one more beneath the SSD. Unfortunately, the memory here is soldered. Still, the iGPU-only machines can be configured with up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X, 6400 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. The iterations with dedicated graphics rely on up to 64 gigabytes of LPDDR5X memory rated at 7467 megahertz, which sounds future-proof. The cooling looks adequate for such a laptop. It has two fans, three decently sized heat pipes, two heat sinks, and one big central-placed metal cooling plate.